Welcome back to episode 2 of Fallout New Vegas. Um, we just talked to Victor in episode 1. And now they say we need to move on to talk to Sunny Smiles. But, uh, I was thinking, we're wearing a vaulted suit and uh, it looks weird. So, it said we have other stuff in here. Okay, now, do I have to read this? All weapons fall under the weapon skill category and that determines how effectiveness the weapon is. It determines how effective the weapon is. Guns, energy weapons, explosives, melee weapons, and unarmed. Compare to the small icon. Okay. I think I know this. Yeah, this is all talk about. This is all standard stuff. There should be something for everything. There's something for everything. Let's get this out of the way early. Nothing for aid? Miscellaneous? Ammunition. Ah, I see that. Hollow point does not does much more damage, but is easily blocked by armor. There's different weapon types? Wow. To switch ammo subtypes, equip the item in this menu outside of the pit boy, press 2 to cycle through the ammo. Wow, I didn't know there's that much to this. This might be a better game. Look at the weapons we got. We got two laser pistols. Can we repair that? Yes, we can. It doesn't repair it much, but it does something. We're going to make that our standard issue since we're a laser weapon person. I... Oh, that way. Uh, grenade rifle? Yeah, I want that. And two is already set for switching to ammo. Actually, this should be three. This is four. Five. We'll do it. Five is easy to get to, so remember them. We don't really need the 10 layer pistol, we'll set it as 6 though for backup. I'm going to set stim packs is, what's our last slot? 8. And that should just about do it. Weapon repair kits? Ah, cool! We have melee weapons, but I'm not a melee type character, so honestly we can sell that because it's a value of 75. But like armor wise, what do we got? Damage, or DT, which is, yeah, is I guess some sort, of some sort of damage reduction? I don't know. Uh, 8, 8, 12. We're, we're a tank, we need the best. It's negative agility, but that doesn't matter. We just need to, we need to do whatever is the best armor-wise. So, okay, keep that in mind. It's probably a slow, if it gets too slow, if I start walking too slow because of all this stuff, I'm just gonna, that's weird looking armor. I'm just gonna install the sprinting mod. It's kind of odd that we have no helmets, but I guess we can find something. So this is, uh, was this Good Springs? Not the biggest town. Not bad. Decent sized. Who are you? You're the guy that is on all of my AMD up there. When I had my AMD built computer based computer that had all the updates, had a picture of your face. Howdy. Easy Pete. What can Easy Pete do for you? Do you know anything about the people who attacked me? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though, if you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Why are you called Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. That kind of didn't really answer it, really, did it? You were a prospector, like digging for gold and silver? Nah, nah. Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means cool. it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. Hmm. You ever find anyone for good nope. prospecting? Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river. But got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. Hmm. That good pays good, but yeah, I didn't find anything good. Okay. Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still. The NCR keeps the Legion away. Tell me about the Legion. They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. 
Not sure how you're supposed to say it. Kaisar? A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about Legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. Hmm. I kind of know what the southern part about Hoover Dam, but I'll just ask anyways. The dam powers a lot of New Vegas, and then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. That makes sense. What do you do for the... What do you use the big horns for? Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. <laughs> like cats. You find you a, a bunch sweater of on wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. Do you know anything about Victor? The machine? Harmless. No matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something, but I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Aw, oh, poor machine. Poor Victor. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. I'll go clear them out. Don't worry about it. Don't you worry about it. We're okay, in. This is a... This seems like more detail put into this game than Fallout 3. Prospector Saloon. Puppy! Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Okay. Uh, Doc Mitchell said you could teach me how to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside. Behind That's because they got the jump on me. Just you wait and see. Next time I'll get them. Why would you have ruined books and a ruined globe? On a thing. That seems kind of odd. Flashing arrows in your compass shows the location of your objective. Okay. Can you walk any slower? We're going outside. I was just outside. Those big horner things, man, they're ugly. What are we doing? Jump up and down. Well. Corn! Barbed wire. I just ramp again. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm not cutting myself. I'm not cutting myself. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Yeah. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Okay. Did, they, did you give it to me already? Weapons. I don't think I got it yet. Everything all right? Uh, no. Until next time. Did you give me the damn the gun? What gun am I supposed to use? This is like a, a varmint rifle. I mean, it's equipped. Wow. That's the right idea. Look down the sight. I miss. It's, it's rigged, I tell you. It's rigged. There's no way I'm missing. There's no way. Look at that. That one missed. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Oh, that's cool. Really? Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. No, not Tell really. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Okay. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Let me reload the gun. Didn't give me much ammo, did you? They're like, they're like Dodges, the, the trucks. With like 50-something Dodge. I don't remember what years. I'm not familiar with my Dodge truck. Otherwise, I don't really care for Ford. I hate Ford, actually, by the way. <laughs> and that's not because I'm a Chevy or Dodge person. It's I'm a Studebaker person. And I'm sure a lot of people watch this like, what's a Studebaker? Well, Google it. Studebaker is the Studebaker International. Best companies out there. Except when it comes to big trucks. And I like Mack and Sterling. The early Sterlings, though. They went out of business in 52, so. You know. The new Sterlings are just Daimler built, which is basically Chrysler. I'm getting off, off topic here. So 
hard when we play games because I always want to talk about things I know, but it's not always the people stuff that people know, so. It feels weird playing a female character. I don't know if I made the right de right decision here. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? Yeah, that was weird sounding. We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Okay. Should I be using my laser pistol since I do... I'm not, I'll use this ammo up first. I am a laser, you know, energy weapon specialist. Okay, you're on. Go give them hell. Should we use VATS? Voltec assisted targeting system. I I'm good. Seventeen percent. Now I give up. We get that one in one shot. Cool. Vats. Oh, headshot. We did it. I did it. I gotta go back. Talk to Sunny Smiles. That's a weird name. Smiles. It's like happy, but See? she doesn't sound very happy. You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. I'll help. It's a first it paying job. A couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Now she gives us more 5.56. This is actually not a bad gun. It's like a bolt action. I want you to get a sniper scope for it. That'd be cool. Aunt Cheyenne, get out of my way. Shh. Make it mount. Oh, wait, there's a bunch of them. Come on. I missed. I missed again. I can't. Everybody stays still in the game more than I want to. Everybody moves faster than I want to. Is there more? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? This way? Disappeared. What's this do? Oh, I can drink from it. Oh, well, that's not bad. She must be down here. I see a friendly something down here. Good spring seller. What are you doing down here? It's not safe. Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you done, I'd be a goner for sure. God's gonna take some to that. To draw water, how they talk. But here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. I have a reputation? You've established a reputation with a group of people in the wasteland. Whether the reputation is good or bad, you finally lose somebody. And people associated with that group will start to react and to what you have done. There are many different factions in the wasteland. You can develop a distinct, distinct reputation with each one. As you perform actions that will benefit a group, you will gain fame. If you perform actions that harm a group, you will gain infamy. If your reputation with any given group is a measure of combined total fame and infamy that you have earned. The benefits and drawbacks of, of any given reputation depend on the group itself. You may receive a discounts with merchants, provoke attacks with hired thugs, or simply be th treated differently. I'm not reading all this. Good Springs. Okay, whatever. Reputation stuff. I'm accepted. Yay! Did we get them all? Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. We got like 10 caps. One more thing I 50. wanted to show oh, you. Rich. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Uh, couldn't hurt. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Oakley, Oakley. What's on these guys? Gecko egg, gecko hide. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with any of these. But I feel like you can do something. We'll click them. So I have that weight perk where I need to be. I don't, know, I don't need the egg. It's just weird. Who needs who needs gecko eggs? Hey, that's a cool rifle. Kind of low resolution textures, but cool rifle nonetheless. 
See, it just doesn't have the, the same draw as Fallout 3, though. Yeah, a desert's a desert. It doesn't look the different. It doesn't look different. The only difference is there's mutated creatures attacking you. That's kind of interesting. But uh, eh, I guess I'll. That's fine. It's you know, it, I think Fallout 3, Bourbon Fallout 3 is better than Fallout New Vegas so far. We'll see how interesting the story is, but eh, I don't think I don't think it's me that that great. Ah, well, I mean. I think Fallout 4 is actually the coolest. Boston's kind of an interesting area to have all, you know, a post-apocalyptic wasteland-ish. So we have the, see, they always have interesting names like the, the Capital Wasteland. It's kind of cool, and then the, the, you know, the Commonwealth. I mean, that's because Boston is the Commonwealth, but it also seems kind of odd that I think the, this is just the Mojave Wasteland or Mojave Desert, which doesn't seem all that. Yeah, important, but what are you gonna do? There's things over here. I'm missing, really? Wow. This thing suck. This gun sucks. Laser pistol. That's one. There's a sunset sarsaparilla bottle in there. Let me in. Has it got something in it? Empty. When you look for Sunset Sarsaparilla, I think there's, I, read, I was watching that Oxhorn guy that does all the lore videos. I'm talking about Sunset Sarsaparilla Star Bottle Caps. And uh, I'm going to go in here. We got him. This thing fires fast. I like it. This thing's cool. Bobby pin. Bobby pin. Metal box. Nothing in it. Braxel cleaner. Metal box again. There's always nothing really that important in metal boxes. It's kind of not really worth checking, but yet for some reason I always do. Empty locker. Empty locker. Empty locker. Locked. Sa easy safe. We need a skill of 25 to do that. We got this. Some of the terminals are protected and can't be. Okay, I, yeah, I know how to access this stuff. It's like this is the first game I played ever. Oh, this is not going to be good. Just need to do the closed bracket doohickey thing here. There's one. You know, this is time consuming and kind of boring, but I didn't do it very often in Fallout 3. In case you don't realize, you either got closed brackets that point in, that's kind of what you have to do. Like, like you know, because that one's faced the wrong way, these aren't closed, so that won't work. It's kind of our first attempt at it here. This one should work. There we go. A lot of people just look for it, but I found it easier just to kind of hover over it like this and kind of go back and forth. It seems to be the most efficient way and not taking too long. You know, it's still kind of boring. So that wasn't a very good canteen. Three out of seven. So what could possibly, it could be, it could be carries because it could be the C, A, and E. And it's right. Well, that worked. Disengage lock. Is it unlocked? Okay, it's good. I figured out bottle caps. I don't need. It. Why is there a lead pipe in a safe? Mentat, stealth point, super stim pack. None of that was particularly worth it, but it doesn't really hurt to do it either. Programmer's digest. Okay. What is that? Mantis orthica. Weird. A lot of coffee in a school. Seems, uh, kind of, uh, you know, not right. Is that it? This seems like a waste. Oh, there's more stuff over here. What is over here? Ashtray. Smoking and drinking coffee. Next thing I'm going to be here is vodka. Salesman Weekly. I don't know how I found that. That's kind of lucky. Out the front, I guess. 
that there's stuff over here by the over here I'm supposed to be collecting. Let me guess this big pod thing. No. Is it? The arrow's pointing like right here. What's it looking for? Is it is it not the big pod thing? Maybe not. Can, none of these I can collect though, unless is it like is this stuff? Jalapenos. I got jalapenos. I like jalapenos. No, I don't really like. I don't like jalapenos in real life, but I don't have very much. I don't have them that often. Tell me that there's a blippity bloppity thing. Where is it? Is it inside? No. I don't understand what's it telling me where it, where it's telling me that this this stuff is. It's blinking. That's it. It's grass. Okay. Well, I guess that was it. Apparently, Xander is grass. I mean, who knew? So I guess we have time to go up to the uh, bone yard, or the bone orchard, as uh, Victor said it or called it. Should be interesting. This is just me, or does this texture seem better? Before I'm gonna do, I'm thinking, about, I'm thinking about doing all the DLC missions first because you get kind of unique items that might help us through the progress through the rest of the game. And uh, I don't know, it's kind of nice to get that out of the way in the beginning, in case they make a, like, like you know, make you take off all your stuff like in uh, the pit. It's where you don't really want it. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to lose all your stuff. But I don't know. You get all bummed that you just got good gear and then you gotta, you know, not use it all. So if you have stuff with nothing, it's not that big a deal. Scorpion. He found me? He's not, he's, he's, he's resistant to that damage. Apparently. Oh, no, he's not. He died fast. What is that little the shield thing that popped up? I've never seen that before. I have a lot of ammo for this thing. Bark scorpion. So I wonder if you can, you know, they, you, you have you get drained energy cells. Can you like refill them? Because that is interesting. If that be the case. Who's this guy? Victor. No. No. Why is he dead? No, that no. Who's up here? I liked him. It's just blood flies. Got one down. They know where I am now. There's no point in sneaking. You want to pace me? Did you kill Victor with your bullets? Apparently, you know you don't have bullets. Another one down. There, there's achievements for this game that makes it kind of fun too. Come on, come here. Get more of you. Do I have enough for this? Should. I hit him once. Hit him twice. That should have been a third shot, but it wasn't. You know what? Fine. Wow, running shot. I actually hit him a bit easier. That used up all of our laser pistol rounds. This looks like the grave that I was in. It kinda it might be. Oh, they were drinking a lot up here. I mean Sasperillo, so it's not like it's that big a deal, but Snow Globe. Final Elimination Mojave Landmark Snow Globe. These are rare pre war artifacts, widely considered to be useless baubles. Rumor has it some collectors will pay dearly for them. Okay. Whatever. Whose grave is it? Are these? I'm still bummed out about Rick. You're a open grave. That's I don't I don't want to. That's messed up. So I'm looking for. It's be this thing right here. I bet. Brock flower. Now well, we found one only. 
Why is Victor dead though? I don't like it. I liked him. Can we repair him? Poor buddy. He saved us and all he gets is to be dead. I mean, they probably came to finish the job. It's not good. It's not good, I'm telling you. Did Sunny Smiles knock him back yet? Where is he? Where is she on the map? Where's the map? Oh, she's still down there. Let's just fast travel. So here. What are you doing stand down here? Oh, it's by a fire. Like this is probably where I'm supposed to be. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right now. We're gonna be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. You need to tell me how to make it. Uh, healing powder. Except. Okay, one. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Okay. Well, interesting. 